H3. Then, you know, for this, uh, for this uh, given expression, how we have seen, you will have the process like this, okay? Hash process, you have to generate an ID for entering A, okay? Then, see, we have A plus A. That means another A we have to generate. See, process 2, leave ID entry A. But what leave process does? Leave is a function which passed search that whether entry A, some ID for entry A is already there. If it is there, it will return that one. So it is already there in P1. So it is returning P1 here, you can see. Okay, so process 2 just return P1, or result of P1, you can say. Okay, then process 3, it creates another ID, entry for B. Process 4, it creates a you know, leaf, which is a ID, and entry for C. Now, once we have you know, these three, uh, four uh, entries, sorry, three entries, A, B, and C, P5 is creating a node, you know, node, Operator is what? Minus, right? Between P3 and P4. What is P3? Process 3 was entry for B. And process 4 is entry for uh, C. So P5 is basically giving you, um, P5 is giving you uh, operator minus and pointer to, a pointer to P3 and P3, if you see, it has generated basically entry for B, right? And another pointer it is giving that is to P4, right? And P4 was basically generated entry for C, right? So this is basically what? This B minus C is created by P5. Now, if you see, P6, okay, it is uh, multiplying multiplying P1, that is A, with P5. So P5 is this one, is P5, okay, and this is by P1, so it is multiplying, so that we understand, okay. Then P7, <laughs> it does uh, addition between uh, A and uh, whatever result, you know, these two things become P6. So, and this A again is a P1. So, there is an addition between them. So, it is it does this, okay, in P7. Now, for problem, go to P8. <laughs> it is generating a leaf entry for B again, for this, right? But it is already there. It has, you know, entry for B is already there in P3. So, it is checking that whether existing leaf is there. It is it found that, yes, it is there. And it happened in process 3. So it is returning process 3, P3. Yeah. Okay. And then for this C, again, leaf function is called. But leaf functions check that whether entry for C is already there. It found, yes, it is there in P4. So it returns P4. Okay. So P8 and P9, you will uh, never found is being used in the further uh, you know, calculation. Okay. So go for P10. It creates a node which, you know, Minus line, this, no, B minus C this, for this thing. Okay, it is generated in P10, right? <laughs> P10. You can see here, P3 and P4, it is pointing out. It is not pointing out to P8 and P9, right? It is not pointing out to P8 and P9. Because uh, P8 and P9 does not exist after this, because they return these two. Okay? So then, <laughs> if you see P11, that uh, creates a new leaf for entry D, because... Uh, D was never written, you know, created by any of the process. So leaf process uh, just um, creates entry for D. Okay, then P12 create the, uh, generates the multiplication between P5 and P11. Okay, P5, you already know. This is P5, this is become P5 here. Okay, this P10 then be entered uh, as a returned P5, right? So it has uh, given this, the P12 has basically multiplication between this P5 and indeed this D, which is basically yeah, and P11, P11, right? So it is here, it is happening in P12. And finally, P13 adds, you know, this part, and this part happened separately, this part happened separately, and they need to be added. So this has happened here. Clear, right? 
so after doing all this thing after doing all this thing we get this if you just uh, execute this right if you just uh, this process if you, if you just execute uh, uh, <coughs> so what will happen uh, first it is entry for a so i just create entry for a uh, sorry uh, okay so i'm just uh, creating entry for a first then what it is doing uh, mm. Again, entry for another A. So I'm just uh, P1 is written, so no need to create another one. Okay, P3 is doing entry for B. So I just uh, generate entry for B here. Okay, P4 gives you entry for C. I just create entry for C here. Okay, P5 it is creating a node which is um, negative operator, which is having a bit negative operator and two apparent. P3 and P3 and P4, right? <coughs> then P6 is uh, P6 is there, which is uh, creating a multiplication node, right? P multiplication net and P1 and P5. So this was generated by P5. So these are the left or, uh, left operator and right operator, right? Is so basically done P7 plus P1. Uh, so P7 is generating P7 is generating a addition node plus node with this was basically you know this A was generated by P1. So left operand is P1 and right operand is what P5. Sorry, P6, right? P6. Okay, so this happens. Okay, <laughs> then uh, it go, go for P8, which is again P3. So P3 is already here, right? Then P9, you go for P9, which is you know, returning P4. So it is already there. Then P10, no, it is creating a node, which is a minus node, right? Neg minus between P3 and P4. So it became equivalent to p5 node so it is returning this p5 node okay so so th there is no action here okay we need to take okay then if you look at p11 it is uh, having an entry you know for d so d is having an entry and process number is p11 okay then p12 if you see it is a multiplication node it is creating a multiplication node right between P12, right? P5 and P11. So P11 and P5, right? Happened. And P13 finally is it is creating an addition node, right? Okay, this one happened in P7. Okay, between P7 and uh, this is happened in P12. P12. Okay, so this is created. And this is in a uh, fresh look you can see it is there already you know this diagrams this is called what dag so what are the properties of dag we found <coughs> we found that it does not have redundant entry for any of the node or that means that there is no identical nodes in the you know uh, graph so we don't call dag as a tree because right because it already introduced and this kind of loop you can see okay so it is creating loop here in the you know uh, <coughs> path uh, there is loop so it is no more a tree so it becomes a g or graphs okay and uh, there is no redundant or mu multiple instance uh, created uh, for any of the sub expression okay so this is the thing we need to understand the uh, properties of the DAG, okay? And how we generate DAG that already we have discussed. We have production rule, we have the semantic rule. So using production rule, what we can generate? We can generate parse tree, right? 
on the parse tree you use this semantic rule and you will get what syntax tree okay and if you are following uh, at the time of generating the syntax tree if you are following this rule of not generating uh, you know multiple sub expression okay that means if you are using this node and this uh, leaf function which first checks that whether similar or same sub expression already exist in the tree if it is there so it point to that if things like this happens then this syntax tree will become a dag automatically